Hello, I have an order for a custom lake map, and I'm taking this opportunity to show you one of the methods to extract the water area of the lake. Here you can see the ready-made files for engraving and cutting the different layers. I want to tell you that I'm not a keys expert. I also watch videos, try things out, and learn. There are probably faster ways to do this, but let me share my technique. This is the area that the client provided for the map coverage. I always start by finding the location on Google Maps to get oriented. We're starting the QGIS program. Go to Web, then Quick Map Services, then OSM, and select OSM Standard. I find the place we need. Sometimes, it takes me quite a bit of time because I think it's not possible to search by name in QGIS. We position the map on the screen the way we want. Personally, I always choose a larger area than I need. A trick, holding the control key while zooming gives finer control. This green magnifying glass starts quick OSM. We select canvas extent. In the advanced settings, I personally uncheck the point field. In the key field, type water, and in the value field, I leave it blank. Click, run query. Here's the result. I can't explain why these small islands are filled with color. As I mentioned before, I am still learning too. You can try putting natural in the key field and water as the value. Now we will download the road data. Regarding the street data, I will go through it very quickly because I have a separate video for that. You can find the link in the description. The client also wants the names of the larger settlements. Since I still find it a bit tricky to adjust them, I will soon make a separate video for that. I wanted to extract the road numbers as well, but it turned out to be complicated, so I decided it would be easier to add them later in Corel Draw. When we are ready, we export everything we want as a PDF. You can turn off the other layers. It's time to switch to Adobe Illustrator. I usually work with Corel Draw and I don't like Illustrator, but for certain things, it's better, and I'm forced to use it. Here, I will speed up the video again because this is not the focus. Also, I have a separate video for this. Some of the things in Illustrator I do in a slightly more complicated way, but the important thing for me is that in the end, the result satisfies me.
The depth contour layers in this case I did manually, with a tablet. I used data from a fishing map. Yes, I know it's not perfect and accurate, but in this specific case with this lake, it's the best I could do. Here's how the finished map should look. 